welcome back to our YouTube channel, which we rarely post on these days because uh, lazy Fuck and you. because, <laughs> yeah, what he said. We can't say that on but YouTube. Anyway, we'll get demonetized. I just we had. We already don't monetize, so we don't fucked. make money. I know. Yeah, I know. Well, anyway, so we're giving our thoughts on this trailer because it was actually pretty decent. So, what stuck out to you guys about this Spider-Man No Way Home trailer? What the didn't helicopter stick out? In one word, well, two words. Uh, Doctor Octopus. Ah, yes. Uh, I mean, Hello, I, kind of not hard to stand up to you because he's right there. Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, if there's one, like, standout moment, it's Doc Ock being there. And obviously, you know, you see the uh, Green Goblin's Goblin Bomb. You mean the pump? The, is it, we don't know it's Green Goblin yet. I, I'm well, just saying. We, I, I know there was I mean, some what else is that? Uh, supposedly leaked shots of Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin. I, I don't think there's been a hard confirmation. We obviously if, don't see him in the If you trailer. ask me, if they're using Sam Raimi's pumpkin bombs, there's no chance in hell it's going to be anybody but Willem well, Dafoe. The thing is, there could be also been William rumors. Defoe using somebody else. You hear his laugh, though. Uh, there have been rumors that it might be James Franco as Harry Osborn. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Could be. No, he was canceled. He, he was canceled. He yeah. was literally canceled. <laughs> He's not going to be used. And that's not the Hans either from ASM2. Right, right, right. All right. <laughs> uh, but Defoe was cast, wasn't he? That is not actually officially. Been, oh, all right. Well, I, I know Molina was like announced prior to him actually. Yeah. All right. Like, well, you can hear his trailer, laugh in yeah. the trailer. Here, maybe I can find yeah. it. Yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah. Ah, yeah. But I, I want it to be the foe. I just don't trust Marvel after what they did with all like Endgame, Infinity War, and all that stuff. Far from Home trailer was intentionally misleading to make us think that. You know, those were the elementals, and, you know, they actually weren't. The, the thing is, we knew going in, and oh, Mysterio is clearly going to be the big bad of this thing. It wouldn't be too shocking that the elementals are part of his whole grand illusion, and that's obviously what we got in Far From Home, so I, I don't think anyone's really surprised or disappointed by that reveal. I know Electro's there because Jamie Foxx fucked himself oh, up and yeah. said that. By the way, I'm in the middle of uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, so we shall see how I enjoy it. Are you that watching thoroughly. it right now? No, not watching it right now. I started it last night, but I passed that because uh, my girlfriend called me, so... I'm so sorry for your loss. Well, <laughs> I do want to point out, in The Amazing Spider-Man 2... I'm finishing it tonight, don't worry. Electro's lightning was blue, not yellow, so how could that possibly but, be Electro? But, hold on. Did, did you not see his Instagram post? Like, where he leaked himself? Oh, he literally licked him. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he said, I won't be blue this time. (laughs) Right. Yeah, yeah, that's Uh, right. I didn't remember uh. that. But also, here's the thing. And and Jack, cover your ears because this spoilers for what you're currently watching. I don't care. At the end of Amazing Spider-Man 2, when you see him do that thing where it overloads him, he turns from blue to, like, orangey-yellow. Before the end, I will say. Okay, so... Here's one thing I'm wondering, which I'm sure anyone who watched this trailer is wondering. If it is the same canonical mm-hmm. Doc Ock and Green Goblin that we saw in Spider-Man 1 and 2, uh, how are they alive? Right. Uh, well, well, manipulation. Did you? Okay. Literally the entire multiverse going like cracking apart. Okay, but here's my theories about the villains. So, okay, so one, these are different versions of those villains, but just with the same actors. Two, it's the same versions of those villains, but they've been taken out of time, like plucked out of time randomly before the end of the respective films that they were in. Thus, the ones that were dead are now no longer dead or no longer changed from whatever happened at the end. Or three, it's the same villains brought back to life from the ends of their respective movies, and it doesn't matter, just roll with it, it's cool. Or D, it's Mephisto. Or it's a Mysterio illusion. Melina said that he was literally plucked from the river from Spider-Man 2, so... Not to spoil too much about Loki, but, you know, it's sort of apparent that, you know, variants can take on many forms, it's... You know, it's not totally out of the question. We have a that freaking could crocodile be. Loki, guys. That 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 picture yeah. you said of the foe. Did you see that he's wearing the original Green Goblin hood? Ooh, like he's not he's not wearing that Power Ranger getup. He's using it looks. <laughs> it's supposed to look like the original costume. Since you know the rumors have gone completely off the wall since this whole trailer released, 
there was one thing that said, like, you know, there's the possibility that Doctor Strange searches the multiverse for a universe where they don't know Peter's identity, and then they try to merge those two universes together, Mm -hmm. and that's how they would cross Ah. over, like, or Toby. Okay, I can see that. But there's always just the possibility that they all just get fucked up. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, or the devil in the room. Doctor Strange? Mephisto? Wait, I'm right here. Why are they doing one more day? It's kind of. Because they don't have Reed Richards or Tony Stark. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I mean, what will this really override? It's not like he's married to Mary Jane or anything, and Aunt May is in, in danger of dying, so... Yeah. It's like they've got nothing to lose. Yeah, but it's like, it it does essentially rewrite the past to uh, Tom Holland's Spider-Man movies, if okay, he but completely gets his identity erased permanently, right? <laughs> Why is it a bad thing for his identity, though? Like, all the other superheroes are out and about, and you know not to fuck with them. Peter has gone looking for trouble in each one of these movies. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, he did sort of indirectly, like, I mean, he is blamed for the Uh, death of Mysterio, and it's not, like, publicly known that he was just a bad dude, right? Iron Man blew a hole through, like, all his villains. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if we really think about it, Tony's kind of a war criminal, so... <laughs> mm. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> well, he's a, he was a weapons dealer, to say the least. Isn't Captain America a war criminal? Oh, uh, we're not going no. there. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he disobeyed a direct federal order, so he was a fugitive. Was? Is? I don't know. So you're a fugitive from the law, huh? <laughs> is anyone else thinking about how futile it is to actually put Peter Parker in handcuffs? Like, I mean, he could pretty... Easily yeah. bust out yeah. of this, right? Like, like hey, you're Spider Man, right? What's the point? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, there is a good point here that Peter did own the drones. Like, it is. Yeah. It, it's in the files. Peter Parker owns these glasses, not Spider Man. Legally. Peter Parker. Yeah. Also, why is it fucking cold in his house? Well, he clearly did a spell wrong. Look at Wong going off to fight Abomination. Yeah, no, Wong's definitely on his way to fight Abomination. Wong is gonna help out Shang. Shang-Chi, that is. Don't wreck the place while I'm gone. Neck minute. Everything wrecked. He must have literally turned around going like, son of a bitch. Everyone before this trailer, oh, it's just Wanda and Loki that fucked up, right? Nope. Nope. Peter was involved too. And everybody's going like, Stephen Strange would never be so irresponsible to do this and that. The guy that literally ruined his medical career by texting and driving. And now we know why Doctor Strange didn't go solve the Westview anomaly. So, uh, quick question. That scene where he does the, you know, pushes Peter out of the Spider-Man body. Mm -hmm. Like, why is everyone, like, did everyone just like that scene because it shows Doctor Strange, or? Uh, because it's that funny thing that happened to Doctor Strange, and then it happened to Hulk, and now it happened to Spider-Man, and it's just so cool. Yeah, it is a cool visual. I do like it visually. I can't. Yeah, it's, you're, you're right, it's overdone, he needs some new tricks, right? You know what I don't like? The whole... You can't be. You can't live two lives, Parker. Because it's like, oh, you have to embrace that your identity is revealed. Sorry. So he has to become more like Iron Man, is what they're saying. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> well, guys. Either way, I think we can all agree we're very excited for this movie. I don't know. I want Sandman. There he is. Oh, well, Sandman. Here, what was God. this thing? Um, the part the where lizard? he's like in the dark. I still don't think that's the lizard. I don't know what it is. I. I- I can't see anything. Did you see like I still the, can't see anything. What is this? this it's just a, okay. That's magic. A tentacle or something. So the magic makes me think it's a wraith, like from the Doctor Strange. Like it has to do something with Doctor Strange, but then apparently, like and it's off if screen. you look up, look up the image after this. If you guys look it up, there's like someone deeply analyzed that image and has it like very clear, and it does look a lot more like lizard. I don't know. I mean, it's not really that important because Lizard from Amazing Spider-Man 1 kind of sucked. I didn't like I it. S- I just want Vulture, man, or Mysterio. I just want one of them to be fucking shit up on him. Well, That would be yeah. interesting to see. I mean, hey, even Shocker would be fun at this point. The Shocker's weak as fuck, man. It's something, damn it. I just want Bruce Campbell's Mysterio in this fucking movie. Mm, I wonder if... No, he's going to have a cameo in the Doctor Strange thing, which, speaking of which, is... Do you think it's going to be... This has to lead uh, right into the Doctor yeah, Strange 2, doesn't I, I mean, it? this is coming out not too long before Doctor Strange 2, so I'm sure there's yeah. going to be some I mean, setup for that. Do we have high expectations? Yes, we do. Hmm. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Will we be... However... Will, will we be fulfilled? Mm. No. But let's be real. I think we're all going to be able to enjoy this film for what it's going to be. 
uh, like we, we obviously got to wait till the uh, <laughs> second teaser and then uh, wait until December. But I mean, hey, let's try to keep this positive. I'm hoping for something kind of like Into the Spider-Verse where, yeah, you have Miles's or in this case, Peter's story. But then you got all these other Spider-Men come in, or in this case, the ones from the previous two movies, and have a decent part of it featuring them and then, of course, the other villains. But I, I just know better and I know not to get my hopes that way up. So I feel like they're going to have a small part no matter what. But if they have a big part, I will be very pleased. I don't know. There needs to be a villainous connection for Tom Holland. Like, yeah, yeah McGuire and yeah, right. Garfield would obviously have their connection. They'll be like, oh, no. But Tom, if he doesn't have like that personal stake or something to show how he's grown, I don't know. There has to be something. What if they pull a Spider-Man, the animated series, and say it's Madam Web the whole time and that she's been watching him do everything to prepare him for Secret Wars and then bang, Phase 5, Secret Wars or something. <laughs> isn't isn't Sony developing a Madam Web movie though? Like yeah, no Spider Woman, gonna... right? No, Madam Web is Spider-Woman. actually a thing. I just read about Madam this. Web is uh, legit. Oh. Well, you know, yeah. it's the Sony version of in development, so that could mean literally nothing. And a shareholder brought it up. So yeah, but given the whole Sony Marvel connection, if Sony's planning on doing something, Marvel probably can't touch it for the time being. Yeah. So with Vulture being in Morbius and supposedly Hardy as well, if Vulture showed up in, you know, No Way Home, it helped drag home that they're more connected. But I mean, I'd also like to see Scor- uh, Scorpion in there, even though hmm. he has no character v- development. Wait, since when does Mortal Kombat come into play? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. Fuck you. <laughs> you got him started. Anyway, looking forward to it, which says a lot because these days Marvel stuff, I legitimately don't care but this is cool why because well i've already said it many times so i won't repeat it again toby in the mcu toby in the mcu it's time to come home pete what if there is a way home well we're about to find out 